everyone my name is Shambhu we hope you all are doing well so today in this particular video we are going to learn that how you can connect the python with the mysql database before moving forward with the program that i'm going to write out i'll be letting you know that what's that mysql so this sql actually stands out for the structured query language so you could just say this is one of the another kind of programming language in which we just write out the codes and particularly what we do so in mysql particularly we just uh, use out some databases and from that databases we just try to extract out some uh, some more data or some relevant information from that data and these are some steps which we actually do let's say you are having out a data uh, let's say you are having a student data and from that student data you just want to get out all of those persons who are having the marks greater than 90 out of 100 they are having the marks greater than 90 so these are some cases where you just simply apply out the conditions with the my sql queries and you just execute them and get out your relevant information this was a very such a like easy example which are given you so today in this particularly we will be seeing that how you can connect that with python basically we just use out this my sql uh, onto the my sql workbench or onto the oracle but when we are connecting it with uh, with the Python, so in that case, we'll be using any particular Python ID that has Python compiler into that. So I here I'm using out the PyCharm ID. Right now it depends on you. You could use a VS code. You could use a Sublime Text Editor as well. Your choice, right? But particularly what I'm referring is the PyCharm ID. Fine. So I had just given you a brief regarding that what we do in the MySQL databases, why we just do that thing, and we are going to start off with the Python. Now, uh, in Python, we have many libraries, right? And n number of libraries which we have, and that allows us to write out the codes in such an easier way. And I'll be installing one of the libraries that we have, and that is MySQL Connector. Okay, so I would just write out here pip install and that's my sql my sql now between my sql and connector we just put out one dash as well make sure to put that out okay and here goes the connector and hit out enter for me the requirement is already satisfied because i have already installed that onto my device but if you haven't done that thing till now so for you it will just show initializing and then doing some stuff and at last it for you it will show you that successfully installed right see for me it's requirement already satisfied Right, hope you first of all got up the things till this particular place, whatever I had just mentioned regarding the library that we'll be using. Now, as soon as I have installed that particular library, what I'll be doing is that I would be trying, I would try to uh, import out that particular library so that I could use that into my program, into my project, I could simply use that out. So I would just write out simply here import and that's my SQL dot and here goes the connector right this is how you just use out the things that's import my sql dot connector now see there are two ways how you can just go ahead with this particular thing one is simply you could just write out the quotes relevant quotes whatever you just wish out second one is that you could simply just uh, use out the try and accept statements so into the try part we'll be connecting it with our database connecting it with our mysql server and all those things and in the accept part we would be giving that if there is any such particular exception so give me that particular exception as an output to me right this is what we'll be doing so yeah i'll be taking you through the try and accept function only fine so let's come down here and simply write out here as try okay now uh Basically, I hope that before uh, connecting it with Python, you had installed my SQL workbench, right? I hope that you have installed that out, but if you haven't done, so yeah, just quickly go ahead and install out the my SQL workbench for you. So let me show you that how it looks like. Yeah, this is how this my SQL workbench actually looks like. So um, when you have installed this my SQL workbench onto your uh, devices, so in that case, it must have given you a username and you even must be having one password right so make sure to remember out that username and password because with the help of that only we'll be connecting our python with the my sql workbench first of all we'll be con con like connecting with the my sql workbench and after that i will be connecting it with the database right this is how we are going to proceed on with the rest of the things 
inside the try function i'll be making out a variable so onto that variable i would be putting out the name for my host my username my password the database to which i want to connect and all those things i'll be doing out right so okay my underscore suitable and let's say my variable name right into that what i'll be doing i would be writing my sql dot connector dot connect so connect is a function that i will be using out for connecting it with the my sql database right putting out the bracket here so first of all goes my host name that what name uh, what is your host name so i so that's actually same for each and every one that is the local host okay it would be same for everyone coming to the new line next what do i have here i have the database database that what database you are gonna connect put out the name for that particular database let me come down the database let's say my database name is demo one this is one of the databases which already exists onto my sql so in that case i simply use out this particular database name only right next i'm having the username now what's your username if you have set out any username particularly so you should mention that and if you haven't mentioned out any particular username okay if you haven't uh, given out any particular user so in that case your user will be root okay make sure to please remember out this thing because this is one of the things where just people lack while connecting it with the python right once again i would repeat username the user is equal to if you have given any particular name so mention that out and if you haven't given that simply write out root here right and here goes the last one that is the password right so i'll be putting out my password here which i had actually put out for connect for like while the installation part i had just put on this particular password right so now I hope you are just very much first of all clear whatever I had just mentioned out at this particular place. Now what I'll be doing is that coming here. So as soon as my try function is done and after this try function I would be making out here my some of the conditions right. Um, condition in the sense that if whatever I have written there if that successfully runs. So in that case you could just like get me out the result that it is successfully connected. Otherwise, you could just get me out some um, error part of things. But right now, I'm just not going to use out if else. First of all, let me write it in a simple language. After that, I'll be letting you know how to use that if else as well. I could make out a variable that is my underscore um, that's cursor. See, this cursor is one of the functions which we have here in this uh, in this one in this library, which use which is particularly used to execute out your SQL queries. So yeah, we just need to import that and use that as well. So I'll be first for writing out the name for the variable in which I have connected that to my database and then comes here my cursor function. So that's like this, right? This is how we'll be doing out the things. And then coming to the new line, I could simply write out here one print statement that, um, that you are connected you are connected to the demo one database successfully and this would be small so successfully right this type of one sentence i just want to get out here so yeah i have just mentioned that out here in this particular case right this function is completed after this i would be having my accept function so i would just write here accept um, except exception as uh, I'm just giving it a short form as you could just write any um, character name here your choice right and inside this I could simply use out one of my print statements that is um, okay I will just write out here that um, error error fine and putting out a comma i could just write out here is whatever error is there we'll be just getting that out at this particular place right so hope you just got out this idea first of all very much carefully how we just write out the things now it's the time for running out the program so click on run so let's see and here i just got the answer that you are connected to the de to the demo one database successfully so it means that the database which we had connected for we have connected that successfully with the python now further your choice whatever the programs whatever the things you just go on to use out you could just use out one more thing is there 
that whenever you are connecting it with uh, any like whenever you're connecting with any database as soon as you have connected make sure to write out one last line that is my underscore connection dot close use out this close function as well so as soon as you are uh, like you have written out the things and you have whatever the function you want to perform out you have performed and as soon as it has been connected to database so your connection has been closed at that particular place right now at that no longer exists out and actually it was the thing that would um, like save out your memory as well right and i could just simply print out a statement that um, connection closed right and here it goes right let's run out of program once again very quickly fine so you are connected to the demo one database successfully and at last your connection is closed right so hope you just got out the idea that how you can connect out the database with the help of python programming language and yes this is how you do out the things right Right, hope you enjoyed out this video and even got to learn that how to connect this MySQL database with Python. So this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.